Guide to Successful Thesis and Dissertation Forms of Theories in Quantitative Research Forms of Theories in Quantitative Research Researchers state their theories in research proposals in several ways, such as a series of hypotheses, if-then logic statements, or visual models. Some researchers state theories in the form of interconnected hypotheses. For example, Hopkins, 1964, conveyed his theory of influence processes as a series of 15 hypotheses. Some of the hypotheses are as follows. 1. The higher one's rank, the greater one's centrality. 2. The greater one's centrality, the greater one's observability. 3. The higher one's rank, the greater one's observability. 4. The greater one's centrality, the greater one's conformity. 5. The higher one's rank, the greater one's conformity. 6. The greater one's observability, the greater one's conformity. 7. The greater one's conformity, the greater one's observability. A second way is to state a theory as a series of if-then statements that explain why one would expect the independent variables to influence or cause the dependent variables. For example, Homans, 1950, explained a theory of interaction. If the frequency of interaction between two or more persons increases, the degree of their liking for one another will increase, and vice versa. Persons who feel sentiments of liking for one another will express those sentiments in activities over and above the activities of the external system, and these activities may further strengthen the sentiments of liking. The more frequently persons interact with one another, the more alike in some respects both their activities and their sentiments tend to become. Deductive approach typically used in quantitative research Researcher tests or verify a theory. Researcher tests hypotheses or research questions from the theory. Researcher declines and operationalizes variable derived from the theory. Researcher measure or observes variables using an instrument to obtain sources. Advantages for placing theory in quantitative study. In the introduction. As an approach often found in journal articles it will be familiar to readers. It convey a deductive approach. In the literature review. Theories are found in the literature, and their inclusion in a literature is a logical extension or part of the literature. Advantages for placing theory in quantitative study. After hypotheses or research questions. The theory discussion is a logical extension of hypotheses or research questions because it explains how and why variables are related. In a separate section, this approach clearly separate theory from other components of the research process, and it enables a reader to better identify and to understand the theory base for the study. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if this is helpful.